They fought well, but not very well. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to a Dayton Dissects of Pixel Heroes! It is an RPG roguelike game, where you pick your characters and your classes. It also has a graveyard which will record the classes that you were. So I got some adventurers, barbarians, war mage, uh, wolf rider, ronin, fighter, rogue, and obviously I did a lot better with some than others, like that they died at level 1, level 7, about looks like the highest I've gone, and that was on my second run. So it's difficult, but uh, we're gonna try and beat it, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll try and explain some things along the way, and then we'll have a review at the end. Welcome to the tavern! Some brave heroes have found their way to the... These far reaches seeking riches and glory. Hire three heroes for your epic adventure. So I've got a Ronin here who has a butterfly strike uh, that does a lot of damage and the blade dance hits the first two enemies and has a 50% chance to make them soft. That's the armor with the little red down arrow. Um, there's an enchantress. I really like the enchantress. She does a massive amount of damage with her high int. But we need to put her in the back behind some less squishy people. Adventure is good because you can kind of make him whatever you need. But we'll definitely need a warrior in the front. So I'm going to bring the warrioress along. And why not two meat shields? The warriors and the barbarian. And then you hit the go button when you're ready to go. It's all very point and click. But for as point and click as it is, I found myself really enjoying it. It's quickly jumped into like the top 20th percentile of all the games I play that I own <laughs> hour-wise on Steam. So you move by pointing and clicking. Uh, when you start out walking, it'll just walk to the end of the town. I didn't really understand how to stop it at first. I was like, okay, AD, 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 and there's no tutorial. So not uh, fantastic on the controls or like the intuitiveness but it's it's not bad overall Serena wants us to go to the boneyard Gerald died do you think you can bring his remains so I can give him a proper burial we shall rest easy Serena and we'll go in the temple actually because you can buy potions in here there's also a casino which you might have saw um, but it is out of service for the time being until you beat a couple of dungeons. There's a blacksmith as well, but we spent all our money on potions, and really I just mostly use them for all the vendor trash that I end up taking home. Library I haven't found a use for, and then these <laughs> exclamation sellout guys. Sale! Can we interest you in a state of the art magically floating exclamation mark? What? What are you heroes? No, we only sell our exclamation parts to des marks to desperate citizens oh my god random event it's like organ trails but RPG style it's fantastic if if it looks like a game that you would like you will like it it has so many great references and humor and oh, sorry for talking so much you see a rotting corpse hanging from a tree it looks like it's been up there for quite a while prepare a proper burial search the tree search the tree there appears to be a small cache of gold hidden inside the tree this is your lucky day Four experience, 18 gold. And we'll continue travel. Goodbye, Mr. Corpse. I hope to see you on the way back. Uh-oh. There's a giant green scorpion on the road. Your heroes start to observe the actions of the scorpion. A short while passes. Uh-oh, the scorpion spotted you. Yeah, that happens. So we're gonna go ahead and use the pierce of the warrior is and try and kill yeah the swarm of bees because they are quite not not terrible terrible but uh they're they're easy to kill so just put a little damage on them and then you get some loot after the battle which is super super nice and a couple of healing potions for your trouble if you need to drink healing potions or anything like that you'll do it on this screen Re-equip items, 
You'll get quite familiar with this screen, needless to say. He was his only companion, but the dragon always just reminded the boy of his old friends. Eventually the dragon died, and the boy was left with nothing but sadness. The end. Well, thanks for listening. Here, take this present. I no longer need it. I'm very sad. But at least we got a mysterious drum! <gasps> what does it do? 11 physical. I hope we could sell that later. <laughs> thanks, Mr. Wizard. I'm selling your crap at the pawn shop. Okay, so there are eight rooms in the dungeon. The last room is a boss fight. And between every room, you get to see this screen. There's not really any exploring or anything like that. But the fighting is actually quite good. For as simple as it seems. Oh, we're going to get a chest room first, which is quite nice. A magical barrier! There's a tre treasure chest behind it. A hero could try and break the spell. It requires not much intelligence. So we'll use the mage who has... A bunch of intelligence, and the barrier has been banished. Woohoo! Only 20 inventory slots, so you have to make a wise use of them, basically. Let's try the next room. See if we can get a battle. This looks interesting. Doesn't it, though? Uh, we've got a spell of acid rain, so we'll try that. Relatively ineffective. Smack them! Boosh! You're dead! You're dead! Mm. I wonder if we can make that thing bleed! Near death? Wonderful. And, uh, they just frenzied themselves, which is pretty scary. But we can end that guy. So obviously I'm not using Gretchen at all, aside from being a meat shield, but that is basically what she's there for. <laughs> she just comes along on the adventure and gets hit in the face. Most of the time. It seems that, uh, this guy wants to shoot at the guys in the back. Which ain't cool, damn lich. Acid rain! Acid rain! Some say dry and others feel the pain acid rain. Uh-oh. Mm. Shit. Gretchen's getting it. But we managed to take him down. So we should be able to one-shot these guys. <gasps> Ooh, no! That soft really does a lot of, uh, bad things for my warrior. Oh, and now, sick. Damn it. Here. Just pass the turn, basically. Oof, mm. oof. Kill it! Kill it! It's so terrible! Please kill it! No! Oh! 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 Jesus. It can get bad really quick. <laughs> Needless to say. Alright, level up. Obviously, you'll be heavily influenced by what gives you the most stats when you level up, but also their position in the party. So I'm going to bump Gretchen up a little bit, and then... Oh, he needs more dex, too. And I will go with some Int and some Faith, or a wonderful little healer in the back there. And definitely... Fill that health up. Bleedy zombies! Bleedy zombies! Absorbed? Mm. I can't even... Words. What? Do they absorb it every time? They do. Mm. They're made from the earth. I should have known all along. Well, hopefully Gretchen can weather it. Now she's sick. Fuck me. Mm. Uh, no! Mm. Mm. So once a hero dies, the Grim Reaper will come and take them away. And they are completely gone until you get back to the temple. 
The downside being that you can't retreat from the dungeon, so you either have to fight the boss with two heroes and win, or die trying. These are your options. So I'm gonna bump his strength and her intelligence and hope we can just power through this thing. Because I really... It seems quite hopeless. <laughs> oh my... I'll give the Barbarian a war... or a magical offhand. Just in case this boss is immune to stuff. And... Let's begin the fight. Holy crap! Do I need to censor that thing? Shh! I am Nago the Plague, feeling sick already! Let me break you out of your miserable existence! Let me make you bleed! Bleed! Immune to bleeding. Well, we're fucked. What a heap of crap. I think so too, buddy. Okay, we should do it. Probably. Mm hmm. Dispel! And he's frenzied himself. Fuck. Lob out damage! Our warrior's poisoned again. Oh, buddy. It's bad. It's really bad. This is a hard place to go first. Unless you have a bunch of sick armor. Which you wouldn't, because if you were going here first, you, you wouldn't be armored up. It's that simple. I kicketh the bucket. Fuck me. And here they rest. They fought well, but not very well. <laughs> oh well. So friends, this has been Pixel Heroes. A list of pros and cons should be appearing about now. I've decided to rate Pixel Heroes at a very deserved 76 out of 100. The controls I've rated at a 5 out of 10. They're serviceable, but definitely not that great. <laughs> The fun factor I've rated as a 10 out of 10 because I sank 6 hours into it without really even thinking about it. The difficulty, definitely 10 out of 10. I haven't really even come close to beating it. I think I got through 3 dungeons at the most. And there's um, a lot more than that. I believe 10. <laughs> the replayability, 10 out of 10. Scraping for stats and building your different party, re-rolling them, uh, renaming them. <laughs> it's just immense replayability behind this game. The innovation, 9 out of 10. Uh, it meshes a couple of things that we've seen before, but we haven't seen them meshed before. So, I really do enjoy this. The graphics are 7 out of 10. They are kind of low res, and I get that they're going for a retro thing, but there are other retro games out there, Hotline Miami, that have a lot more detail to them. So, I'm I think 7 out of 10 is a good score, uh, but it's not fantastic. The music I've rated as a 6 out of 10, because it is 8 bars repeating, and while it has a good progression and fits well, and the music changes for the boss battles and regular battles and deaths and stuff, it's kind of repetitive if you're going to sit on the screen for a while, which you may have noticed right now. Um, <laughs> during this review, so I apologize for that. Uh, the sound effects are a little generic and repetitive as well, so I gave them a uh, 6 out of 10. And uh, the story is an 8 out of 10, because who can't deny a group of adventurers setting out from a tavern? It's, it's the old classic, and they've added enough humor and their own flair to make it something that engages me a whole lot and keeps me invested in the story, silly although it may be. <laughs> and then the level design, there's not technically levels, so I've decided to give the level design a 5 out of 10. All of this adds up to a very respectable 76 out of 100. Thank you so much for sharing this game with me, uh, Heads Up Games, and the Bitmaster who is the developer. So. This has been Pixel Heroes. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope you have enjoyed. Comment of the week this week goes to Playintosh because he hasn't gotten a subscriber because he hasn't gotten a comment of the week yet and he's like my my biggest bro on YouTube. So, awesome. Check out Playintosh's channel. Links in the description. Thanks again for Pixel Heroes. 
76 out of 100. Very impressive. While it's not everybody's cup of tea, it's definitely mine. So if you if you like the look, I hope you go check it out. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends. <laughs>